What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, it's been a little while since we posted. Uh, we had some. Uh, we went to BMS and they rained out, so we went up to Winchester. Unfortunately, Dad wasn't able to make the trip up there. Uh, but my buddy Dave, he uh, helped me out, watched Philip for me while I was on the track. I really appreciate that. And then uh, this past weekend, we went out to BMS. We had a pretty good run, finished second, and um, <laughs> had some malfunctions with the camera. Uh, Dad, uh, I guess he was excited. I started on the pole, and was I mean, I ran a pretty good race, and he accidentally hit record in like an opposite sequence. But uh, today, as y'all can see, we got the Memorial Day uh, Memorial trailer behind us, and we are uh, headed down here to. Longhorn finally today to pick up the car. I'm super excited and uh, can't wait to see where this goes. But got to thank Mike for uh, making this happen. Uh, Mike Ebock with Race for Heroes because uh, definitely never would have thought at 25 years old and uh, you know coming where I come from from racing, starting a little Pinto. I just never would have thought that I'd be in a brand new race car and this is. Uh, it's a very special day for me, and uh, gotta gotta thank everybody that's ever helped me along the way. So I just I'm very thankful. But we're gonna bring you all along for the ride and uh, check Longhorn out. I don't get speed. Do what? Well, if you did a victory run. You got it, Michael. And I was speed. Got her in the memorial trailer. Now we uh, got to get it to the shop and do some work. Got to get this thing ready. Um, hopefully we'll be racing this thing in the next couple weeks and uh, looking forward to it. These guys are Longhorn in first class, so appreciate them uh, being short notice on getting this thing ready and uh, getting it ready to load up and all that kind of stuff. So appreciate their help getting it in the trailer. And uh, about to load up all the spare parts and then get on the road back up to Samora and maybe go do a uh, car real job uh again thank you to mike evoc uh, for one sent me down here on the work day to pick this bad bad piece up the most beautiful car i've ever seen in my life but uh we're gonna get back to work and see if we can't go all right guys so we are going racing at vms this weekend i waited till friday to post this thing and there is a reason so we're finally breaking out the new car i got a ton of people to thank for this thing I'm going to go around the car and thank every one of them that has contributed. Um, Mike Evox definitely uh, at the top of the list, Race for Heroes. He uh, he kind of made the whole new car thing possible, and I can't thank him enough for the opportunity. And uh, we're ready to get in this thing and rip it. Um, got Roush Racing Engines as a power plant. That thing is uh, going to be pretty stout. Uh, everything on this car is brand new, top to bottom. So we're going to see what we got. And uh, hopefully, and go give old Chase Butler a run for his money up there at VMS. Um, Mr. Ab with the shocks, Abner, uh, Abco. I like calling him Mr. Dig, but uh, you know, here we go. We've used him uh, in the past. He's always taken care of me and answered any questions at any hour. So, got to thank him for uh, taking care of me. He got these things back to me within like two days which was pretty awesome. I was planning on running this thing on the doubleheader at VMS in Potomac um, two weeks ago, but unfortunately, I didn't have my motor back. Um, Rouse had a set of twins, and uh, also congratulations to Michael and his wife and his whole family. Um, I believe they have both of them at home now. One of them had some, uh, some trouble, but I'm glad that both of them made it home. And uh, yeah, so. The next guy I got to thank is uh, Mr. Mike Stello for uh, always, you know, supporting me. This this man, shoo, I couldn't race without him, honestly. I got to drive three to four hours a week, every weekend to go race, and what he does for me is uh, just 
outstanding, you know. Um, really couldn't do without him. And then I got Jay with Axios Investigations Firm. He supported me for the past three years. And uh, the past two years that, you know, I've gone back and talked to him and whatnot about sponsorship for the next year. He's like, man, I'm with you till NASCAR. Um, this is NASCAR for me. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know that I'll ever make it in NASCAR. Probably don't fit that build, you know, character. But uh, if it ever happens, that'd be awesome. But uh, anyhow, thank you, Jay, you know, for everything you do for me, keeping some fresh tires on this thing. Um, Got to thank, uh, <clears throat> sorry, got to thank Brett Clary with 3 Ace Speed Shop because he knocked this car out of the park. Um, you know, I've always used Jamin, but uh, I think Jamin's kind of gotten tired of the uh, the race car stuff. Uh, but definitely, definitely this car, he, he kind of took the, uh, Jamin's design from the other car and put his little twist on it and this thing is incredible um which you will see here in a second so i got to thank all these people that have you know put their uh support behind me and um just their trust in me too uh never would have thought that at 25 years old being a single dad now you know being able to race the way i'm able to race and you know having a piece like this um or even being able to race UMP, you know. I I used to go to the racetrack and watch UMP races, and uh, you can ask a lot of people. I was like, that's the class I want to race, but I'll never be able to afford it. Um, so if you're that kid out there or even adults out there, if there's a will, there's a way. So get out there, get in the shop, start with a 2001 throwing dirt. That's where I started, and now I got a brand-new 2023 Longhorn, and this thing is awesome. Um, also got to thank Troy and Steve and all the guys at uh, Longhorn, Adam and uh, Ty. Uh, just appreciate everything y'all have done for me. And uh, I know y'all probably get tired of hearing the phone ring because either I'm calling or texting or whatnot. But uh, Adam's helped me out a lot on, uh, you know, getting this car dialed in. Um, still got a few little things to do before Saturday. Today's Thursday. But we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it lined out. Waiting on a couple uh, shims so I can set the front end like I want it, and uh, or like I'm told to do it. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. This weekend's gonna be uh, kind of one of those weekends where you find out what you're made of. Um, not saying I'm gonna go out there and set the world on fire. It's still a new car. Um, always, you know, have new uh, things to learn, that kind of stuff. But. Uh, Definitely think that this car is going to be that that uh, piece that uh, steps up our program a little bit. And uh, one more person I got to thank is Miss Lori with uh, Four Boys uh, Racing Supply because she, I've all, I've, I've gone to her, shoot, since I raced my little Pinto, you know. And uh, I got I to gotta say, you're not going to get better customer service. And every time Phillip's with me, he gets candy which makes my kid happy, so I'm happy. But uh, she really took care of me with trying to get all the parts to finish this thing up, and uh, she's gotten everything to me as soon as I needed it. Same thing with Brett, man. Dropped this thing off on a Thursday night, and it was ready on him on that next Monday. Um, and I called him on a Tuesday. So you, you can't beat the customer service, and uh, customer service is huge for me. And uh, that's what you get when you, uh, you know, build relationships with people and um, – I'm thankful that I got these relationships with these folks and just, uh, you know, everything they're able to do and uh, help me out and all that kind of stuff. So um, just I'm going to show you all the car now because I can't can't keep it from anybody anymore any much longer because this thing is sweet.